electric cars and everything else, but our grid can't handle that. We can't even secure enough energy to keep the power going for the next five years for places out west. You're talking a major overhaul. So why is it we always have to start at the wrong end of the spectrum? We always start at the wrong end of the spectrum because that's just the way that the government works. Nobody really has a clear picture. Somebody has an idea and they start to run with it and then they try to get everybody else on board and everything else. And the next thing you know, they want billions and trillions of dollars for this thing. And you got some guy sitting in the back room back there somewhere that's kind of like, quote, in charge of some of this stuff. And he's sitting there going, thing I work. And they don't want to hear that. I don't know. We've already pushed this. And we, you know, we got people on board. We've got all these votes. We've got trillions of dollars. What do you mean it's not going to work? Well, you're going to have to spend that first few trillions of dollars and start upgrading all the lines and all the poles and everything else. And then we can talk about what you want to do with the cars and everything else. It's just a fact. I just don't get it, folks. You know, we always start at the wrong end of the spectrum on just about anything that we do do in the government. It just seems that way, at least. It seems like we're always uh, chasing our tails and, you know, we're not listening to all of the right information on what it is that we would like to do and accomplish in our situation. Mm -hmm. We really have to sit back and really think about what is affordable anymore. It wasn't too far back when we used to be able to go to the store and you could buy, if you had a couple hundred dollars, you could buy a lot of food. I mean, a lot of food, folks. Now, we did our grocery shopping today and we really didn't buy much. We didn't buy any meat. Oh, I take that. No, no, we did not. No, we, they didn't have any. We didn't buy any meat whatsoever. And our bill was still 170 bucks stores. I didn't, not to mention what it is costing you to fix your cars. Car parts right now are through the roof. Uh, when you have your car, if you have to have your car fixed or serviced or anything else, I had to have a new battery put in one of the cars uh, this past uh, two weeks ago. And I went back through and I looked and three years ago, I put a battery in a car. It cost me $119.99. This time around, it cost me $199.99. Three years later. The days of affordable living. They're, they're just, they don't exist anymore. I don't know how some families do it to have three and four kids. It must be a very big struggle to really do what you have to do. You have to be a very good planner and a very good person with your money in order to survive in this day and age, even if you're both working. The affordable part of the whole aspect of what is really going on in today's society is the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor and the middle class is shrinking. It's a fact. It's just the way it is or anything. The, the middle class people of this country have shrunk a lot over the last decade and they keep shrinking. You see, when uh, Charlie Victor 19 come to town and then all of a sudden when people started going back to work, they couldn't get people to work. And so then they started raising all the, you know, the pay for all these people and everything else. So now what have they created? Well, you may be making, you know, 15, 20 bucks an hour working at McDonald's. But with the high price of inflation, that 20 bucks an hour, is like you're still making 850 here. I have noticed that there's a lot of people that are homeless. There are a lot more people that have been standing on the street corners. There's a lot more eviction notices been posted on people's doors. Now, 
I see this on a daily basis. I see the people come and go. I see the people that are struggling. And it makes you wonder what is really taking place here. Why are we in such a disarray and why is it that nobody has any type of real solutions to this problem? Because it's all going to bills and food and housing and your gas tank.